Hey, it's me Steve here from resubstudio.net and welcome back to another exciting tutorial. So today we are going to see how to make text distortion effect inside After Effects and well, let's see what we are going to make today. Well, create a new comb and I am calling this noise. Now create a solid, name it fractal noise. Next search for fractal noise and apply this to the solid. Well you can also search here too. Now make this noise text to linear and fractal to dynamic progressive. Now increase the contrast and decrease the brightness. Then go to this transform and decrease the scale amount. You can also play with the rotation. Now I'll click on the evolution stopwatch and type time times 250. Now we got a cool animation. So now duplicate the solid and move the layer a little bit. Now search for invert and apply this to the hippo layer. And change this layer to low mat. Well fine. Okay next create another comp and name it text. Now drop this noise to the new comp. So now we can create a new text. So right click new text and I am typing Resub Studio. You can also use logos to stop this text. Well all the steps are the same. I had made this more attractive by changing the colors, its font size, etc. So now pre-compose the text layer and name it text and click move all attributes and hit OK. Now place the text layer below the noise and change the layer to loop my mat. Now create a new comb. I am calling this particular and create a solid. Drop this text to the new comb, search for particular. Well, it's a third party plugin from Red Giant and apply this to the solid. Okay, now go to the emitter and make the particle per second to 100000. Then set the emitter type to layer, and velocity to 0, emitter size set to 50. Now open the layer emitter and set this layer to text. Now open emission extracts and set this to 100. Now go to the particle and make the life to 1.3 size to 4 now open the size of life and make this to second preset and also open the opacity of life and make this to second preset now go to the shading and make them both on now go to the physics and set the physics time factor to 1.1 open the air Windex to 100, Wind Y to minus 60. Open the turbulence field, set the effect position to 100. Fade in time, set it to 0 0.1 second. Change the scale to 6. And set the move with the wind to 200. Well, fine. Now open the AVX system and make this to continuously. Set the particle per second to 5 and life to 0 0.2 and size 1 and color from mains make it 100%. Well, open the size of life and make this to second preset and opacity of life and make this to second preset. Now open the physics and set the wind effect to 100% and turbulence position to 100. Now duplicate this particular and open the particle. Set the size to 2, open the AVX system and make the life to 0 0.5 second. And size to 2, open the physics and wind effect to 150 and turbulence force to 250. Now I can duplicate this particular and open the physics air, turbulence field and change the scale to 6.1 or 6.5 will fine open the AVX system and make the life to 3 and size to 1 well I can duplicate this particle and go to the particle now change the size to 4 go to the physics air turbulence screen and effect size to 7 
and go to the AUX system and make the life to 2. Well, it's fine. Now just change the color of the text. Go to the project window. Now drag the noise to the particular comb and place it below the text. And drag this text to the particular comb and place it below the noise. Make this to luma mat. Okay, now open the fractal noise. Now turn on the visibility icon. Now create an adjustment layer and place it above all the layers and search for SHA make this 14 and also search for curves and apply this to the adjustment layer and make some changes in it well some of the particles look so big open the particular and change the size to 1.2 okay well it's fine now create a new comp and I'm found this main I hit ok now drag this move to the main comp and apply the particular above this fork now scale it a little bit now create a new solid for flipper and name it flipper ok now take the rectangle tool and create a mask and make this subtract If you want to change the text, it's a simple way, double click on the text, you can change the text easily, I am typing after effects. So when we come to the main comb, all the text has been changed. If you like today's tutorial, is this helpful, please subscribe to resubstudio.net and it's me Steve.